Hey, this is Robert Plank from dfypodcast.com, and I want to show you how to download a bunch of YouTube videos, how to download a bunch of videos from a channel, how to extract the audio. Now, I don't condone stealing anything, but we use this quite a bit when we have people come to us and they say, I have a podcast, I have a YouTube channel, I have a lot of content, I have a lot of different episodes, sometimes hundreds of episodes, and I need you and your team to take those audios and videos and create podcast notes about them. And I wanna show you what we're talking about. You might have YouTube content, and that's great, but it's very helpful if someone is able to pop this out here and they can see the various things that you talked about in your YouTube video, and they can even click on these the timestamps and jump to a particular thing that you're talking about. And it's great if someone is already watching your video, they can jump to a specific a point in time, but you can imagine this is also useful for you and your search results, right? Because if someone is searching for you and your content and your solutions on YouTube, well, what is there really to go on? There's the title, and sure, maybe YouTube kinda sorta transcribes it, but why not make things easy? And this is something that you can use on your blog, on other social media sites, things like that. So anyway, how the heck do you get these videos to me? Or if you're using this for some other purpose, how the heck do you get a YouTube channel or a YouTube video or a bunch of videos downloaded and how do you get them into audio format? Well, what you do is first you right click and you copy the URL of the YouTube video. And at the moment, I have pasted a bunch of these YouTube URLs into more or less my notepad. Uh, so that way I, uh, you know, I could get a bunch of videos and I figured why not show you how, what I'm doing here. Uh, and there are some websites that will download the videos for you, but sometimes there's ads and sometimes they don't work. Uh, I use a tool called YouTube-DL, YouTube-DL, and you go to YouTube-DL.org, you download the file, and I have a downloads folder where I just keep the YouTube DL program just sitting in there. So that way I can go to, or I can do a Windows key R and type in CMD and go to my command line. Sorry about the scary command line or uh, the nerd, uh, you know, actions here, but I go and I go D and CD downloads and now I'm in my downloads folder. And now because I've downloaded that YouTube-DL program, I can type YouTube-DL, but then on its own, it, it doesn't know what to do, right? On its own, it's like, oh, error, you didn't give us a URL for YouTube. So what you do is you uh, have your list of YouTube files and we go YouTube dash DL and then the URL for the YouTube channel. And again, I'm not sure how uh, okay YouTube is with this, but I promise that I only use this to get videos from clients who just have no other easy way to get the videos to me. So I promise, I promise, that's the only purpose I'm using this for. And we can just take this line here where we said YouTube-DL and we have the YouTube link so here we go, YouTube-DL and the URL to the YouTube video. We hit enter and then give that a few seconds here. Give that about 20 seconds. And this is downloading the, uh, the video file usually in an MP4 format uh, to, our, uh, to our desktop, right? And this way we, we can now watch the video offline or even convert it into uh, audio. So now, if we browse to our downloads folder, here we go, just sort by date created. Sorry about the mess. So here's the very top video. 
And then here we go. Here's the video uh, right here that we were able to download. And uh, so that's helpful because now I can assign this to my team. We can, uh, you know, run it through like a transcription service and then I clean it up if someone wants a transcript, things like that. But then the other question is, how do you convert it into just audio? Okay, so there's there's an easy way and then there's like the powerful way. Okay, so the easy way is just cloud convert com and this is even though sure there are uh, uh, you know programs that can convert files for you and things like that this is by far the easiest way to just do it really quick right so we go to cloudconvert.com I had to log in because they only allow you to do 10 conversions without having an account but then you just say a login via my Google account easy and I've never had to pay for this uh, I convert things every day almost and I've never done so many that I needed to get a paid account. So cloudconvert.com is a free tool that will just convert any format into almost any other format, including video into audio. Let's see here. You go to select file, then we browse to that MP4 we had, and then convert to audio MP3. And just that, if that's all you care about, that's that works. There is a little wrench icon where you can, if you care about like the bit rate and all that, but I mean, whatever, I don't even check that. So we said, I want to convert this MP4 file I already downloaded into MP3. You click on convert and it's pretty quick. Give that a moment to upload, convert and download. And so while that's cranking away, let me show you how to do this at scale. If that's something that you're, you're interested in. And the, the secret is just we have this list of YouTube videos and we just take this YouTube-DL, we copy and we put it at the beginning of each line. And how the heck do I do this so fast? Well, a lot of non-nerds don't notice the home and the end key on their keyboards. See, we have like the home key on this keyboard and we have the end key. And these keys are so helpful for moving to the beginning or the end of a line. Because you see here, if I hit the end key, see where my cursor is, boom, now it moves to the end and the home key. So this is helpful if you need to work with multiple lines. And we highlight this YouTube-DL. We do a control C to copy. We click down here, we hit home, control V, down arrow, home, control V, down arrow. Boom, 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 boom. And um, say you had a hundred of these, here's something even another level of advanced. You can go search and replace. I'm using a tool called edit plus, and I will say I will uh, do a regular expression, find, and I will do a shift six, and this is what's called a caret. It just means we'll place this at the beginning of a line, and we'll type YouTube-DL space, replace all, so if you want to get super advanced, if you had like hundreds of videos here, that's how you would put this at the beginning of a line. Okay, so now this is still converting. And while that's converting, let me show you how to just download a ton of uh, videos at scale. So we have this whole list and we'll put an enter at the very end here. So we have one blank line on the end and then we will highlight all of this. We will right click and copy and then go back into our handy dandy program. And then I will just write, if you just hit right click on the mouse, it'll paste all of this. If we right click, and even though it's only showing one right now, it pastes it all 15 lines and you see how it will just go through the list and it will uh, download every single video that we have there. And in the meantime, uh, the cloud convert, the simple way, it's done converting from audio to video uh, video is an MP4 and audio is an MP3. We click on download and then here we go. Three seconds left and the end result that we have is a six minute audio file that originally began its Hi, life it's as a him. YouTube video. And that is how you, number one, download a YouTube video, you get that YouTube DL program, and then you fire up your command prompt if you know how to do that, 
and then YouTube-GL, then the URL to the YouTube video. Okay, so that's one thing. Then if you need to convert it into audio, we went to cloudconvert.com. And so that, that gets you by, right? And then if you're looking to do things crazy and at scale, what we said was you paste each YouTube video in a text document, one per line, and then add YouTube-GL before it, and then it will just go through and it's it's downloading all, all these things. And so one last, uh, one last, I don't know, crazy idea for you is what if you downloaded 100 YouTube videos of your own channel or like a client or something like that and you needed to convert them all into audio format? How do you do that? I use a tool called Gold Wave and I think there's a free version, but just like anything else, the, the free version has pop-ups and limitations. You pay the one-time fee and then you have the, the full version. And uh, the Gold Wave is better than any other tool I've used like Audacity for batch production of audio files especially, or in this case, converting video into audio. And what we can do here is we are still downloading, but you get the point. We don't need to wait for every last thing to download. In Gold Wave here, we go to File, Batch Processing, and then Add Files, Downloads folder, and you see how these are still downloading and we will just start uh we'll just do a handful right and so uh you can you know highlight but i like to click hold down shift and click again and then it selects all these we have selected i don't know how many of these are seven or eight out of the the 14 that we're currently downloading we will go to process we don't need to do anything special but convert so we click on convert files to this format and then choose what format and in this case I don't need a very large high quality file just enough where it's listenable I don't I'm not being a perfectionist about quality this is just for the purposes of transcribing so I will set this to well, 128 kilobits kilobits per second 128 kvps just 128 right that's kind of good enough where you can hear it but it's not uh, super huge destination will say store all files in their original folders and because I'm being super clever I will say delete those video files because in our case we just need the audio files and we'll click on begin and what this will do here is go through so it looks like we're processing eight of these files and it's still downloading the others, but we just got impatient, decided to process eight, and this will go through each MP4 video file and then convert it into an MP3 audio. That way it's really easy that we can just shoot, uh, I can shoot my team just a small audio file I don't have to deal with, you know, here's YouTube links and they have to have a browser open, they can just uh, work with a small audio file. Lots of things that we did, uh, the big, uh, bang for your buck though is Cloud Convert and YouTube DL. Uh, it's pretty simple. You don't need a lot of different tools. Uh, there are some kind of little tricks and shortcuts I showed you. YouTube DL, Cloud Convert. And if you don't want to do this yourself, if you have podcasts, audios, YouTube channel, and you want us to create notes for this, like we showed you a moment ago, then contact us, dfypodcast.com. Uh, it would be so cool if all you had to do was just show up for your podcast. It would be so cool if all you had to do was just fire up your phone and say some, drop some cool knowledge, uh, join a, a Zoom meeting on your phone and interview someone, and then boom. Now your podcast episode is published, now your YouTube channel is updated, and then let me and my team uh, add all the bells and whistles, all the, the grunt work that you know that you don't want to do. Or maybe you, you thought about doing it once or twice uh, and it was just too much of a hassle. You need this keyword search engine juice. You need to have the ability where someone can search a keyword or a key phrase and find your podcast, find your YouTube channel, find your blog, and when they find it, really easily be able to find the relevant links, key quotes, talking points, timestamps, and more. DFYpodcast.com. I'm Robert Plank. I'll see you there.